Hi folks, a little bit cold today. It's only 10 degrees here in the workshop. I want to get these wheel caps finished and fitted back onto the uh, Mondeo, so I thought we'd get them painted. I'll see you in a minute. Right, well as you know, before I went away on holiday, I did prime them with the uh, Leclerc TI Green Primer. So they're waiting to be installed. I've got the covers for them here, the little four domed badges that are gonna sit right in the center. They just fix on with an adhesive paper on the back of them. So I've got four of them to go on. But first of all, I've just got to give these a slight rub down with some 400 uh, wet and dry paper. But first of all, you've probably seen up there, I've got a new sign that's turned up in my workshop. Now there we go. It says, not hard shoulder, what you normally find on a, on a motorway or something, or a road. It's got a soft shoulder. Now, I think that's referring to my bad shoulder that I've had. And I think one of these people here on this Hall of Fame, or Wall of Fame, could be responsible for it. And um, I'm hazarding a guess, maybe, out of possibly these two people there. So I would imagine one of them might have sent me that soft shoulder sign. I'm not sure. I may be wrong. If it is one of anyone on here, leave a comment in the comment section below and let's find out exactly who you are. So right, here we go. They're just uh, primed as I said to you now. They've just got a slightly textured surface. So I'm just gonna give them a rub down with some 500. They ain't gotta go too mad. And then I've got this base coat here. I will just give that a stir up, transfer it over to my um, spray gun and then we'll just lightly dust these on. There's no need to do it heavily, just give them a few dusting coats basically and uh, that should be the job and then I'll go over them with a lacquer. So let's get it all sanded down and prepared and finally get these things finished, painted, lacquered and I won't be able to put them on today because they got to obviously harden overnight and then once they have hardened then I'll be sticking these on but I'll get them painted anyway. Let me get these sanded down now, I'll put you on a bit of time lapse for that and get these prepared for a little dusting of the old uh, silver which I've got there. See you in a minute. I stand by you when you're falling when the river is calling I said I love you forever We can make it together What goes up must be down There's lots of friendly faces all around And nothing's ever lifting me higher Than a touch of your sweet desire Right, here's the paint, believe it or not. It's separated, it's been standing for a while, so I'll just give that a stir up and hopefully it'll uh, it'll come back. I'll be spraying with my um, Devilbis SRI Pro. Could do have been a little bit thinner, but uh, as I say, I'm gonna have to go with it. So, I've cleaned my work area down. Here's my gun. Let's take that hose around there. So I'm just gonna pour a quantity into my gun. I'm gonna go mad. All right, that should do, that's well, well enough. Right, let's put my lid on. Go and get my mask on. Put the fans on. And uh, we'll start spraying, so bear with me. Right, fans on. Right, well you may notice here that I'm just going around the edges first because I want to get them edges in properly. Now again, I'm not pulling the trigger fully here. All I'm doing is just dusting it on basically, just around the edges there, just to make sure that the edges are all covered. So then I'll go over the top and as you can see, we've got loads of them little sort of screw holes there. Again, this is just a little dusting coat. I'm not sweeping across in one movement. 
I want to make sure I get all them little bits inside them little crevices covered up as well so that's the point of me doing it like this and I'm spraying it to two bar which is 28 psi and this is a Devilbus SRI Pro as I said to you before and I'm running a one mil tip in here There we are, that's the first coat. I take a while, because you've got to get inside all them little crevices. Let me show you. So let's just pick one up. As I say, you're just dusting on the first coat, and uh, it's a matter of getting in all the little crevices and in the little corners. So uh, that's just the first coat, just a light dusting, and they've all covered pretty well, actually. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. They should be okay. So I'm gonna let them dry just for about five or 10 minutes, and then I'll give them another coat then another coat and then we'll lacquer them. So I'll see you when I finish giving them the coats and I'm ready for the lacquer. Right, okay, so I've just mixed up my lacquer at a two to one ratio. I use the uh, Max Mir clear there. You can see the details of what I use here. Now be careful, this stuff's very, very toxic. If you haven't got any ventilation or you haven't got a mask or a proper respirator, you really want air fed for stuff like this, to be honest with you, but uh, I'm being very careful, as careful as I can in my situation anyway. So I've just mixed up a little bit two to one. Make sure it's stirred well. I've not added any uh, thinners to this at all. So it's coming straight out of a two to one mix. And what I'll do is I'll give it a couple of light dustings and then uh, go over with a slightly heavier coat. So it'll have three, three sort of coats. There we go. So that's just mixed up now. Now I've got my same gun again. Now normally I'd use a strain at the pour this in, but I can't find my strainer, so I'm just going straight for it. There's not a lot there, it's literally, just under half a cup full there. That's all I need. So let's just put the lid on. And again, I'm spraying with me Devilbis SRI Pro with a one mil tip on it. I set the pressure at 28 pounds PSI or two bar, that's the same, roughly the same. And the way you do that is you press the gun trigger in the first, it's got a double action trigger, press it in once, and then you dial the pressure up till the gauge reads 28 pounds or two bar. So let me just put that there for a minute, hold on. Get my mask on and get my ventilation switched on. And you won't be able to hear me in a second, so I'll just, uh, you won't, I won't talk anymore, so I'm going to put the ventilation on. There we go, all finished now. I've just got to wait for them to dry now. I'll probably fit them tomorrow. And these are li literally just uh, stick, unstick, unstick uh, the sticky pad on the back, place them in the center and that should do the job. As I say, these are slightly domed as are the centers of the uh, caps as well. Three of them have got little dents in the middle of them, which isn't gonna show underneath these anyway, so I'm not too bothered about that. So they've had their coats of lacquer now, let's just show you. And I'm sure you'll agree, I've got a lovely gloss on them and everything is covered, there's no runs or anything. I just took my time with them, just light dusting, as I say, don't go pulling the trigger all the way back, otherwise you're gonna get runs. And uh, as you can see, they're lovely. Them domed bits in the middle, there's a couple of them have, have got domes, and as you can see, these uh, are also domed as well. And there you go. But the old shoulder's playing up there now. Look, so I'm gonna have to leave this now until tomorrow. The old soft shoulder. So I'll see you a bit later on, and uh, that'll be tomorrow when we can put them back on the car.
Bye for now. Oh, 10 degrees out here again. Sunday morning, and here we go. Cool, the lights are a bit dark in here at the moment, aren't they? So let's have a little look at them and see how they've dried out. Right, here we go. Oh, they're lovely, look at that, look. Look at the, look at the sheen on them, look. Absolutely fantastic, they're all the same, look. So I'm not worried about the little dents in the middle because these uh, things will cover them, but they've dried out absolutely superb. I'm well pleased with them, they've really turned out well. See them glistening, I'm, I'm not even gonna rub them down, they don't even need rubbing down. It's a direct out of the gun finish that is. And it's great stuff that Max Mir. Right, okay, that's that. Okay then, so let's have a little look at these. Um, adhesive backed Ford badges. As you can see, look, they've got a, a slight dome to them, as you can probably see there, look. And that matches up with the dome that's on them front. So they look lovely. The only thing is they've got to plonk them straight in the center. So they've got these adhesive pads on the back. So just take the protector off. Easier said than done when you've got no blinking nails, but there you go. There we go. Right, so that's that. Now, I've got to be careful here. I'm not going to push them down. And there we go, that's the finished article. All four of them now looking pretty much like new again. Absolutely fantastic, I'm well pleased with them, they've turned out really well. Let's put them on the car. Okay, I'm out here at the car, it's a bit uh, rainy out here. So that's the before. The wheels, don't forget they were uh, white before these wheels, they've been painted silver as you well know. And they didn't have the wheel caps on them like that, so that's how they come to me, the car, with a white wheel. And this is it now, they've all been painted. Right, there you go. I think Percy, that looks a whole lot better. And uh, I'm well pleased with the way them wheel caps have turned out and it's made a big difference to the appearance of the car, I think, anyway. There you go, I'm happy with them. I'm just gonna fit these three now. You haven't got to really see that. It's only gonna be the same as that, but uh, yeah, there you go. I'm well happy with that. And that's made a nice addition to my little Mondeo ST220. Well, thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed this little tinkering about video on the Mondeo ST220. And don't forget, if you do like my channel, hit the subscribe button there, ring that little notification bell and set your preferences to all. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Thanks very much. I'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.